In this video, we're going to be learning about how enzymes actually can lower the energy needed in our bodies. Without enzymes, so if enzymes did not exist, our body would actually have to rely on doing reactions spontaneously. It would not be able to handle all of the waste products that are building up um, without being broken down, for example. So these reactions do not occur as fast enough for our body to cope with that alone. For example, waste products would build up in our body and our digestive system would not be as efficient as what it is without enzymes. How do enzymes affect our energy? Now we have two graphs here. On the left hand side we can see this graph is the energy needed without enzymes. So if an enzyme were to react and spontaneously without an enzyme, the activation energy is actually quite large um, for the reactants to go into products. Now for this graph, this one shows what the energy activation energy is for when you have an enzyme. Now the white here is obviously the same graph as here. So if it's a spontaneous reaction, this is an uncatalyzed reaction, that's the difference in the activation energy. So using the activation energy is quite low compared to a spontaneous reaction. So enzymes are quite important to help us um, speed up reactions, but also lower the activation energy. Now, enzymes also make sure that our body does not change in temperature. This is extremely important because in cells, heat damage can actually um, make some, a lot of damage in our living tissues. For a chemical reaction to begin, activation energy is necessary. How do enzymes affect our energy? Now this here is a similar diagram as before. The pink line represents without an enzyme. So again, that's the amount of activation energy that we need that's extra for a spontaneous reaction. The blue line shows with an enzyme. You can see that the energy needed is lower than without an enzyme. So the presence of enzymes mean our body requires bodies require less energy than if the reactions were not catalyzed. This is called the activation energy. This energy is needed to break down chemical bonds allowing the reaction to occur. Enzymes themselves are not altered or used up in this reaction which means that they can be used again and again. They're very efficient proteins. When an enzyme binds to a substrate it lowers the energy needed by the substrate molecules to react to form products. This increases the chance of the reaction occurring and therefore increases the rate of reaction. So not only do they lower the activation energy, it also increases the chance of the reaction to happen rather than if the reaction were to happen spontaneously. The role of an enzyme is to lower the activation energy needed to start a reaction so that the reaction can proceed quickly without a change in temperature. How do enzymes affect our energy? So it is important to remember that enzymes, an enzyme does not provide the activation energy, it only lowers the activation energy needed by bringing the specific molecules together rather than relying on them colliding randomly. Next we're going to look at how different factors affect the enzyme activity. Thank you for watching.